what's going on people um i had a request well a lot of people request that um for me to make an update to my android z1 android watch phone being that i installed the um clean rom from xda and if there was any noticeable like differences to the phone um i would have to say yes it is it does seem a lot more snappier as you can see like as long as you install a UI that well I have go launcher on here and um if you just don't like turn on the extra features like you know the animations and special effects then you should be pretty good with the any launcher now I know not all of them doesn't work um I tried the next launcher it doesn't work go launch and ADW seems to work pretty fine um like I said it does seem a lot snappier and one of the new additions to the um rom is definitely the play store the google play store does work now you can um log in with your google account and you can use the play store and you can sync your contacts and all that stuff works now um also uh super use well i rooted it before i even installed the rom but super user does work it's not really much you can do with super user but use things like ROM manager and or maybe a um, speaker boost or you don't want to tether with this because it only uses 4G so yeah if you're looking for dial up speeds go be my guess um, <clears throat> your YouTube app player does work now flash video in the browser doesn't work but I'm pretty sure I can somehow find a APK of uh, Adobe flash and probably side loaded and it should work I haven't found one yet, nor have I looked for one, because I don't really bother with the phone. But as you can see now, it's not even responding to my gesture. I don't know why, but that's part of the problem, is the processor is just too slow. Now, I would have preferred a resistive touchscreen compared to this com this um, capacitive touchscreen that's not multi-touch, and it's just not accurate at all. It's because the processor in this thing is so bad that... It just makes the experience like just horrible for the rest of the device. Um, ROM Manager does work. I installed Clockwork Mod, but you don't really need it to install the clean ROM. You can just go to XDA, download all the files, use Odin, and just flash it that way. It worked for me. Um, what else? Okay. Now, initially, the ROM did come with um, 160 DPI, but I had to change it because it was just way too big. So I changed it back to the stock value, which I think is like 140 or 120, one of them. But I did that with DPI Changer. Now that uses Super User, so that was a plus. Also, if you're going to download any browsers, try not to download like things like the, the full-fledged browsers, like the Dolphin browser. Download the Mini because that seems to work best. Um, you can't overclock the CPU or anything like that because you can't get into the kernel. Now, you, it will be a chore trying to find a keyboard for this thing because typing on it is just, like, almost non-existent. Now, you can do, like, voice. I guess you can do voice recognition with certain programs and then to type out the words for you. That would be a lot better because typing on this thing is just painfully awful. Um, it does render pages fairly decent, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. But, um... As you can see, uh, I'll let it load up Google, and then I'll probably let it load up YouTube. But like I said, it's just it's the accuracy of the touchscreen that's the problem. Come on. There we go. Now, I'm not even sure if it's going to load YouTube now. But it does load them fairly well, so it's not too much complaint about that. And I don't even think the double tap works. I'm not even sure. Well, that's how you zoom out. But it should you should be able uh, you should be able to double tap. And it seems like YouTube doesn't want to load. Uh, let's stop this. Oh my God! I didn't even press that. See, that's part of the problem with this phone is that issue. <clears throat> Now you see how long it took to load that page and I'm on 
LTE 4G right now, so it should be loading pretty fast, but it doesn't. But scrolling is not is not bad. As you can see, you can scroll pretty fast and you don't get like a checkerboard pattern, unlike my PS Vita. And this phone process is, is a lot worse and the Vita browser is just broken. But anyway, um, video quality on this phone is great. You can't watch HD videos, but uh, when you watch like YouTube videos, they, they play pretty good. Like they look pretty good quality. So um, I'm not sure if it's playing in that 480p. It, see, I mean, I can't even press YouTube like. I'm not sure if it's playing them at 480p, but they, the image quality does look good. The only thing I don't like about the screen is the bluish tint that it gives, like, everything. Now, the pixel density on this screen is pretty decent because it does seem like it's, like, a high-resolution screen. And everything does seem pretty clear. As you can see, I'm recording this in 720, and everything does probably, to you guys, would seem pretty clear. And it does, even when you watch like movies or anything i would recommend that if you're going to watch video on here try to format it to its re like the screen's native resolution and mpeg 4 and just download a pretty good like maybe the m player from the play store and watch a video like i said the youtube player does work but i don't want to open it because i don't want youtube talking about some copyright infringements or whatever but you can play um videos from the dolphin mini browser and they will open up in the youtube player and they open up pretty fast so that's a plus um the wi-fi on this thing sucks you have to be on top of your router in order to get a decent signal as you can see my overdrive is right there and if you look there i only have like i'm missing one bar and i'm right next to it bluetooth on this thing sucks you want to listen to music that's fine it, you know stereo bluetooth does work with it um what else uh the phone calls the speaker phone is a joke don't even waste your time if you're going to use a bluetooth it's going to have to be a pretty good name brand one and have pretty good uh wireless signal because i mean you'll hear snap crackle and pop and people won't hear you and you won't hear them now the condition of this phone has kind of held up and i had it for a year so there's faintly scratches on the screen the only thing that i did notice is right there that seam like when now when i put it on my wrist you see it opens like a lot now i don't know why uh, my rabbits did get to it so they chewed up the thing here the, uh, the wristband a little bit but that doesn't take away the functionality or it doesn't hamper anything a lot of people complained about that, but I don't see why, because I've never had a problem with it. And like I said, this is going on a year strong. My major, major, uh, I guess, wear and tear would be right in this corner. Let me see if I can get it to do it. Like, it must be either the screw is loose or, or maybe it's just coming apart or something. If I can get a handle of it. Yeah, like, it just opens up right there all the time. So, that's the only thing that i can complain about but other than that it's held up for over a year so i mean it's it's to me it's more of a novelty novelty item like it's not to be used as your replacement phone maybe for an emergency or something or you just want to play your music through it or maybe watch a video on a go here and there that's fine but anything else no they would have to do that this thing has 128 megabytes of ram that is not adequate for android to me this is more like the g1 of 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 um watch phones basically so and i guess the next generation should be a lot better maybe like a gig of ram at least a gigahertz processor and multi-touch screen and then i i think we'll be working with some but as of right now this is just not a good idea and i'm just giving you my honest opinion i mean the camera works pretty well so i you know, it takes pretty decent pictures. I don't know if, well, see, you see how washed out that looks? That's because of that screen issue I'm talk I was telling you about. But it does take pretty good, I don't know if, well, I'm in the dark right now, so you can't really see anything. But it does take pretty good pictures, and um, it, the playback is pretty good, so. 
that's basically all I gotta say about it. I just wanted to make this video. Let me see if I can get the like the kernel version and stuff like that so you guys can see it. I just wanted to make this video to, sh to tell you my experience with this watch phone. I don't use it anymore because I have a Galaxy Note, which I think sucks so bad. But, um, hey, where is my Galaxy Note? Yeah, I have a Galaxy Note 1, and I see why they discontinued that phone so fast because it's just horrible. Um, but anyway, that's the kernel version. I'm not sure if that update thing works, but... Yeah, Z1 Android Watch Phone update. Thanks for watching. Peace out.